Okay, we're down to our last uh, part of this series. We're in, we will going to convert our existing project or yung mga nagawa na nating project in this series into APK, Android. So, um, self-explanatory naman na yan. Wala na yan objectives. Okay, so uh, let's head over to our project na. Okay, so kung matatanda ninyo itong project natin na to, this one is our router project. Okay, so let's uh, take a look kung ano yung itsura nito. Let's ionic serve para makita lang natin yung ano yung expectation na magiging itsura nito. Okay, F12 natin. And then, close na natin yan. Oops, sorry. F12. Okay. So, in here. Okay, so yun yung magiging itsura ng application natin. So, fit to window. We're in nakakapag-grout uh, tayo into different pages. So, yun yung i-convert lang natin ngayon para mas mabilis. Ano? So, we will not going to create another project. So, uh, very straightforward lang yung gawin natin ngayon. Uh, terminate ko na yan. And then, uh, first, para maging guide ninyo is uh, just download the Android Studio kahit na, uh, kahit na anong version. Kasi kailangan lang naman natin gamitin si Android Studio to convert our APK. Okay, so just go to their website, download Android Studio. Wala namang kayo ibang i-install dyan. Wala kayo ibang i-configure. Na iba. In my case, ano, wala naman ako ibang kinonfigure Just uh, dinownload ko lang siya and then dire-diretsyo na Secondly, once na ma-download niya that Let us assume na meron na kayong Android Studio Punta tayo dito kay um, ionicframework.com okay, Para maging guide ninyo kung ano-ano pa yung mga i-click or install natin Just head over to Docs and then Guide Click nyo yung Guide And then in here Hanapin ninyo sa under developing, developing for Android. Okay, so we have here Capacitor or Cordova. We will going to use Capacitor. Just click this one. Okay, and then basically, ipupunta lang niya kayo dito sa my um, another documentation ng Capacitor. Okay, so bago natin sundan yung npm install, yung cap na yan, open Android na yan. So, head over muna tayo dun sa ating project. And then, ang una yung gagawin is Ionic Build. Okay, so basically, ang gagawin natin dito sa Ionic Build is i-convert natin or gagawa natin siya ng www. Kasi ayun yung babasahin ng ating Gradle or yung ating Android Studio. So, just click Enter. Type Ionic Build and then click Enter. Of course, kailangan nandun kayo sa may project ninyo. Since nandito tayo sa may router, dun tayo nakapasok sa router and then dun tayo nag-Ionic Build. So basically, ang gagawin niyan, mag-create siya ng www, uh, www na folder dito sa directory natin. As you can see right now. So next, let's follow this step na nandito sa may capacitor. NPM install capacitor at Android. Copy. Head over to our terminal. Right click to paste yung ating kinapi. Okay, right click lang. Wala na kayo mga gagawin. And then enter. NPM install at capacitor Android. So once na na-install na natin yan. Head over here ulit. Uh, gawin natin. Next step tayo. NPX cap at Android. Copy. And then paste. NPX cap at Android. Enter. So, ang gagawin nun, mag-a-add siya ng Android na folder. And then, the last step, or the last step dito sa may uh, Visual Studio Code natin is to copy uh, yung NPX cap open Android na yan. Copy. And then, paste natin dito. Okay. So, ang gagawin lang yan, i-open niya yung buong project natin na to na na-build na natin and then na-ilagyan na natin ng Android into Android Studio. So, kailangan meron muna kayong Android Studio. Sundan nyo yung ano natin, step natin. We, have, we must have Android Studio first. And then, right after ma-install nyo yan, i-build ninyo, Ionic Build, install, capacitor, uh, add Android, and then open Android. Then, right after na ma-open nyo ngayon yung Android, all you have to do is to head over here sa build, and then makakakita kayo ng build bundles, APK, build, APK. 
So kung hindi nyo nakikita to, that means in-skip ninyo yung pag-ionic build. It is important na mag-ionic build kayo kasi hahanapin ni Gradle or yung Android, nitong Android Studio, yung www. Magkakaroon kayo ng error dito. Okay? So build bundles, build APK, and then igigilid ko lang ito ng konti. Okay, so kasi natatakpan yata nung ating uh, video. Ngayon nung uh, circle dito. So may lalo, basically yung hinihintay natin dito, lumabas yung uh, na, notification na tapos nang ma-convert into APK. So yan, katulad yan, meron na tayong dito. Just click locate. And then lalabas tong folder na to. Inside of it, we have debug. And then inside of that, we have app. Dash debug apk This one is our APK Ito na yung installer natin So pwede natin itong i-copy And then Ipipaste ko siya dito sa Aking phone And then uh, magsuswitch ako In uh, phone view Para makita natin kung ano yung magiging itsura Nung APK natin Into actual phone Okay, so nandito na tayo ngayon sa phone natin So ito yung uh, Kinapi natin yung app debug APK, that APK. So, click natin yan. Do you want to install this app? Install. Okay, so more details. Ito yung pangalan ng app natin. Install it anyway. Okay, meron tayong scanning lang na magaganap. Okay, and then open. Okay, so now, ito na ngayon yung ating application. We have home, as like uh, nung ating uh, sinerve kanina, we can now switch into multiple pages. And then, katulad din nung nandun kanina, maliit lang yung uh, profile natin. And now, that's the end of our series. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig. Bye-bye.